guys welcome back to my youtube channel i am rabiana so today we have a short blunt cup curly bob i guess that's what i want to call it that sounds like a lot but this was finessed i had to transform this wig it came longer in 24 inches you guys but i had to make it do what it do make it work how it works and i feel like it came out really cute really cute summer style not too much hair going on down your back all up on your neck doing too much it's just perfect so this hair was sent to me from your list of hair i never worked with this hair company before they contacted me wanted me to you know review one of their wood units i agreed and their packaging was really bomb came in this satin bag and i will be putting my wig back into this baggie as well came with lashes adjustable strap or elastic band i would say and this is the wig i think it's 22 inches yeah it is 22 inches and it is a water wave wig if i'm not mistaken you guys so i will leave all the specs on the screen also all the specs would definitely be down in the description box as well a lot of stuff is in the description box you guys so make sure you guys are checking that out so this is supposed to be a water wave wig you guys it came really nice i think the lace is also transparent you guys and i'll talk a little bit more about the lace and stuff like that because this wig does have pros and cons um to me so the wig came with about three combs and adjustable strap you also get that elastic band and it was pretty full uh pretty full until you know later on in the video but here it is i am um bleaching the knots on my wig i use 40 volume developer you guys so i only left it on for 15 minutes however i feel like the knots did not bleach how they were supposed to this wig unit one of the cons of this wig unit is the knots on these on this wig is really big so it, you can see the knots it's like it's just something i just don't like I don't know i guess i get wig units and stuff and frontals and all this type of stuff sent to me all the time so i like i see stuff that a consumer probably would not see however i came with my wig already glued on you guys this is supposed to be a how to put on your you know wig in like under 10 minutes or so or whatnot that did not work out this was not the wig for that this wig needed work it needed to be plugged it it really needs a lot of work like it needs to be plugged and i had to finesse it how i was supposed to finesse it so i already came with it like glued on and stuff like that and i'm going to do the baby hairs and stuff like that for you guys today but that really wasn't the main focus of this wig unit i wanted to just show you guys how i came with the short cut blunt style bob but yes anyways i am going to put the pros and cons up on the screen so you guys could definitely you know know what's going on with that so another con would definitely have to be that this wig unit is two different textures you guys and i did not like that so that is why i ended up cutting the hair as you guys could see it's short in the front and then it's long in the back and it just looks like the hair is just sitting there the longer hair is just sitting there i didn't like that so i ended up cutting it you guys um so that's a con it's also two different textures as you can see the longer pieces are more of the water wave texture and then the frontal part is more of like a curly texture but it's not a curly texture where it's like loose it's puffy so it just did not look right um i feel like that's probably something that the company could definitely work on because this wig is like two different textures you guys so i had to do a lot of finessing and stuff like that my back was hurting right now <laughs> but um other than that also another con was that this wig unit the ear tabs was like not trying to come down like how i wanted it to so i felt like my wig was kind of a little small um it wasn't doing what i needed it to do however i finessed it you guys i really did um another thing is i don't like the lace on the frontal i feel like it could be a little bit thinner but i think that because this wig is supposed to be transparent the lace is a little bit different than what i'm used to i've never reviewed a transparent wig or lace front or anything like that this is my first time you guys so this um lace was a little different for me to work with i felt like it was thicker it may seem like it's undetectable you guys but 
I don't know. I felt like it was just a little thicker. However, it, it may appear to be, you know, nice looking on camera. Also, if it may look like my parting has been over bleached, it's not. I put lace, I mean, I put foundation up under my lace frontal so it kind of leaked through, but I'll fix that at the end. It's not over bleached, you guys. It's not, it's the foundation. So yeah, here I am playing with the hair i'm trying to wet it i'm trying to just kind of fill the hair out you guys because i honestly thought it was going to be like something totally different and it really wasn't so i'm just trying to finesse it and get it to you know how i want it to be textures together you can definitely tell that these are two different textures so the frontal is definitely more curlier than the bag like this is more of a water weight texture this is more of a curly texture so I don't like how it looks because it just I don't like how it looks you guys so I think I'm going to cut it because I feel like that would be best for me and my little hairstyle I just do not like how it looks. It just, you can just tell that it's two different textures. Like this is water wave <laughs> and this is curly. So I'm going to cut it because it just makes it look like it's just there. Like the, this hair is just there. 